All right, guys. So here we are with our Cayman lizards. We've got Kira, who's swimming away right there. And then we've got Erwin over here. Now, Cayman lizards, these guys, their Latin name is Dressinia guianensis. And you can see Kira just swimming around. These animals are related uh, to tegus. They're actually in the TDA family. Now, you can see this is Erwin, not so, so friendly. Um, doesn't really like to be handled. On the other hand, you've got Kira, who's this one right here, absolutely loves to be handled. You can see they have those beautiful osteoderms, and they swim. Well, here, watch watch how Kira swims. They swim just like a caiman, just like a crocodile, just like an alligator. They tuck those legs behind their bodies and just use that powerful tail to swim. Now, we love having these animals here in our collection, and you can see in here they've got a 300-gallon pool, and they're outside. They're in the elements, so they get natural sun. It's starting to rain a little bit, so they get rain. They're pretty much outside all the time. We do bring them inside so that they're able to eat and you know kind of get away, especially if it's too hot or if it's too cold. They do have a little inside area where they go. But other than that, this is where they're at. Now, we love using these animals in our educational programs and we just love teaching people about them. Back in 2009, only 11 zoos in the United States had Cayman lizards. You can see okay, Kira just went right under the water there. Um, so not many, not many places have them. So we're really, really, really blessed uh, to be able to have this particular species in our collection and we handle them we use them all the time anytime we're doing a show or you know any kind of event we love using this particular species just because of how amazing they are and just how beautiful they are and you can see you know anytime we use an animal like this everyone always wants to to come near them because you're able to pick them up you're able to touch them and be really friendly with them now right now they're still kind of small they're only about four years old and they're getting close to about two and a half three feet long full grown they'll be about five feet and they'll weigh anywhere between any, about 7 to 12 pounds. So they're not super, super big animals. But again, this is not an animal that we typically recommend. If you want to get an exotic, uh, you know, having a caiman lizard, you can find them in various pet stores. Let's just move the camera a little bit. So you can find them in a couple different pet stores. Or you can find them, you know, anytime you go to any sort of exotic animal convention. Sometimes you can see caiman lizards there. But even though they're really interesting and they're really cool and absolutely love them, we don't always recommend them because, as you can see, they do require pretty large area. And this is just right now. Once they start getting bigger, we will give them something bigger as well. So we will hopefully be breeding these in the future. It's something that we definitely want to do. We just love this species and can't wait to see what happens in the future with them but definitely keep checking with us we'll be posting some new videos of these guys and some of the other animals that we have here at discovery reptiles if you have any questions you're more than welcome to email us our email is discovery reptiles at yahoo.com or you could also call us at 239-440-5307 so you can care she just loves the camera <laughs> all right so you guys have a great day and hopefully we'll be posting some videos soon all right you guys take care